Those of you who are just joining us uh, today, we are joined by a very special guest oh, in yes. studio. Uh, she's one of the artists who got the chance to absolutely blow up last year. 2019 was one of my favorite years sure. of Kenyan music because Kenyan music grew a ton of branches. And today we're hanging out with, uh, we'll let her pronounce her own name. <laughs> just in case I butcher it because I feel like I've been doing that for uh, Ni- Niviri. Mviri. Nviri. Mm. You see, I'm still butchering <laughs> Nisawa. it. Nisawa. Yes. So how do, how do we say your name correctly? Zinia. Zinia. Okay. Yes. Okay. Because, Babu, Nikoshua, you've had everything. My whole life. Yeah. Your whole life. What, what? What's the worst that your name has been butchered? <laughs> hey, Virginia. Virginia. Oui. How? Yeah. Like the V and like, the X. Yeah. <laughs> wow, the that, that's so crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad we have you in studio. You're yes. one artist that we've been dying to interview. And I'm just going to start off from the crazy part. So, mm-hmm. a couple of weeks ago or a couple of months ago, we were all hanging out at this old generation studio. Mm-hmm. And then out of nowhere, yes. Zania walks in. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Ben Sol, I mean, not Ben Sol, uh, Bien, Bien is yeah. like... Sema Beyonce. I was like, oh, hey. hold up. Kaende, Kaende. The shorty is on Beyonce status? Uh, <coughs> Mimi. Uh-huh. <laughs> Tuambi. You know. Kiskiya mtuwa meanza na Mimi. What had happened was. Uh, uh, what had happened was. Uh-huh. Um, no, I wouldn't. Why would you do that? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, like, why would I put myself. I love Beyonce. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, I don't think that I'm on that level. But yeah. that is definitely a goal. You know? Okay. Yeah, true. That's an inspiration. But um, uh, yeah. and I mean, also, Polycap called you the engineer on an Insta story. Oh, he did. Yes. He did. So I've been paying attention That's to that. Like, I love that they're giving you like your flowers loudly. Yeah. So what were you engineering the other day? Um, is it a record with them? It's n- uh, yeah, yeah. I was okay. like, it's not with them. It's, yeah. It is. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it is with them. Um, I'm learning more about engineering, okay. and uh, I think. So he was like, ah, but see, see, you're doing it. So mm-hmm. see, you, yes, and the layer too. Uh, yeah. Yes. So when's that song gonna drop? I don't know. Okay, it's for their album. You don't know. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> and I love the fact that I got to see you perform um, at Afena's launch when she was launching her album. Oh. And I and I when, when I see you um, on social media and and I'm just like you're this composed person. Yani ukai ni kama una zaliat Lucy when you got when you got to stage au ko chill. Is that like an alter ego, Ama? It's just like ni um, ikondania kwa It's the just the energy on stage. I just have that much energy, you know? mm. so I feel like because when I'm chill, yeah. it's on reserve. It's on and reserve. If you go stage, you might chill. Release the cage. Yeah. I don't know. Let's first of all roast her. <laughs> 24 <laughs> minutes ago, she tweeted, "Yo, I'm at <laughs> Capital <laughs> FM, and I got <laughs> in the elevator, but <laughs> I forgot what floor they are on." Okay. Ni kwapa ni mefanya almost every floor. Ni mefanya almost every floor because. I refuse to go back down. <laughs> Aya, please tell us the story. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Weren't you given that's directions? Ex- that's exactly it. No, I've even been here before. But uh-huh. then I was like, I know it's at the top somewhere. But <laughs> I got in and I was still on the ground floor. Yeah. And I was like, do I want to go back all the way to the security desk Mm-mm. to check? And I was like, no, I'll figure it out. <laughs> ah, no, 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 no. Went to 20th, then went to 10th. And uh-huh. I was like, maybe it's close to the ground. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for you to experience the warm the up. Warm up. Yeah. I'm gonna read you the rules. They're very simple. You dip the hand into the cup, pick up one question, read it out loud, and answer it. Okay. Uh, what did the last text you sent say? Okay, mm. that might even be worse. Oh, it was to my friend Nicole. Mm-hmm. I was like, "Buda, si ndi chini Oh, that's so. D- uh-huh. Which artist would I like to perform at my wedding? Yes, they are wedding bells, Evie. Uh-uh. Oh, I- <laughs> next, next, what? next. What's up, past? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Um, have you thought? Have you thought what? that far? I'm a bad boy, Jafika Uko. Bad boy, you're getting the bag. No, no, me, yeah, yeah. I'm chilling. You're I'm chilling. Just happy, enjoying life. Yeah. Um, but Alex Isley, Stevie Wonder would be amazing. You mm-hmm. know, Wow, that would be awesome. Locally? Um, locally. Mm. Lisa. Lisa mm-hmm. Dore. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Which upcoming Kenyan artist are you keen on working with? Mm. Uh, oh, wait. I don't even have a song with Valerie yet. Oh, really? Uh-huh. 
Imagine, and we spend all that time together. I don't have wow. a song with Karun either. We have half a song. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We look forward to that song. Yes. Because I feel like it should have oh, happened. Should have happened. No, no, we started one yesterday. Oh, we okay. Oh, yesterday. Oh. Hey. Okay, that That's is a like juice, a, a juicy about, thing. Hey. That kind of energy, spicy, spicy. I, I can. Let me ask you this: as an artist, I usually say, for myself, if I was an artist and I had like a big bad banger like Niambia in store, like I would want to release it ASAP. Like in Malaysia, too late. I want to drop it now because it's flaming hot. And you have the same mindset, or you're just like, maybe I make people wait a bit until no, the time is right. I mean, um, I like to be prepared, mm. especially now that I finally put out a project. Yes, but. I did do that like in December I at the end of December mm. I released a song I wrote it like two days before and I was <laughs> like man you know what too yeah, bad. Uh, I just want this one to be out to so be out yeah, that's, so, that's so dope I like that <laughs> well for me I'm just like much more interested to hear from you what your thoughts are on uh, something that Tushani had said um, what was it earlier on we were having a conversation and he said that he feels as though this is going to be the decade that uh, FMCs are really going to step up how do you feel about that? I agree. You agree? I, feel like it, it, I mean, I feel like a lot of them were already there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, because everybody's supporting everybody m- way more, yeah. mm-hmm. the ones that have re- had already started are going to now get their uh, shine. Mm-hmm. And then they're also just going to elevate other people. Okay. Ah. Okay. Do you feel as if the support has become more? Because I feel as if there was a time maybe um, artists would break out with their own song, or you are a new artist, and uh, maybe people are not gravitating towards you, are not giving you the right kind of support. Do you feel as if right now, since even you came back, do you feel as if it's a bit better? Are we mm. at a better kind of state? Guys mm. are supporting you more. I've been saying this since I came back. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like I came back at the perfect time mm-hmm. when everybody. I just just felt accepted. Mm. Mm. Uh, people want to see you win. They just yeah. You yeah. Don't, you don't even have to ask people anymore. You know. Yeah. Okay. So, for me, what's interesting is how they've gone ahead to really label you, Karun, um, possibly Valerie Mudoni as new Nairobi. Now, when your music gets labeled like that, mm-hmm. do you feel like why is my music being mm-hmm. labeled new Nairobi? And what is new Nairobi for a lot of people who may not know? How do you feel about that? The thing is, I felt like New Nairobi was a thing that started even years ago, mm-hmm. you know, before I even came back. Um, and I think they just mean like, you know, it kind of feels like all the psych had died down and then now it's just coming back up again. So mm-hmm. that to me is what I interpret as new, like it's new energy, it's just coming back and then it's making everybody want to, everybody's like trying to do a lot of stuff with music. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's cool. I keep forgetting to just talk in the mic. Into the mic. <laughs> Okay. So you feel as an artist say like last year was not really a good financial year for you. Is no. that true? It was not. No. As much as you were booking shows. Yeah. yeah. And that didn't even happen until like the last half of the year. But still, you know, um, I had to make those decisions like what more can I get out of mm-hmm. this opportunity even though I'm not getting paid as much as... Um, I would like to, mm-hmm. you know? mm-hmm. and uh, I got a lot out of a lot of those opportunities. And now this year started, and the gigs are coming. And now I'm like, ah, I can set a rate yes. that mm. you know, because now people have seen and mm. people are, are hitting me up to perform. So there's the demand now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And are you gonna set up any management? Are you gonna sign on to a label? What's the plan there? Um, I've been managing myself mm. since I started, but I have been looking for a manager. I might. I've been talking to a, a you know a whole bunch of people about it. I might just get like a PA mm-hmm. and still do the management stuff until you know I, I feel like you know vibes. It's a vibes thing for me. Energy like I know that I'll know who it is mm-hmm. when the time comes. But right now I still haven't settled on a manager, even though there's options. Mm. Oh, what are some of your phobias? Doodos. Uh, <laughs> you just hate them. I'm so I don't even hate them. I'm scared. You know I'm those ones who like. I'm too scared to be around them, but I'm too scared to kill them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I just panic. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one. Yeah, this is the one. <laughs> She's even push away the cup. Yeah, she got a list. Which, which Kenyan celeb would you ask for sex advice? Mm. Mm-hmm. Karen, Kaz, Lucas. Kaz should really come onto the show because okay. every the highest rated. Yes. <laughs> and why? What would you ask her? Like everything. Everything. Hey. <laughs> like hey. spread it, girl. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy because Kaz really is yeah, she, about she's that the one. Yeah, like I, I don't know. She exudes this energy that you're just like, 
girl, Eish. I want to get to know more of you and what you know about this mm-hmm. range of stuff. Yes, yes. So, which Gengetone artist would you collab with? Oh, if, if you were to collab with a Gengetone artist, Sailors. Sailors. Oh wow, you want their madness? Yeah. Like I feel like you're so toned down. You'd be like singing the ballad. But then I'm like, uh, you're hype. Uh, you love to dance I too, do. so you would you would take it there. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's interesting. But what do you channel when you get on stage? What is it that you channel? I turn my brain off. Really? It's you're just, just music. It's just I'm music. just like it's just me and my songs mm-hmm. and me having fun with my songs because this is what I've dreamed about doing my whole life. So why would I not? Yeah, and in Atlanta, are you studying music, or what's the what are you doing in Atlanta? No, from living so there? I graduated uh, with my music business degree mm-hmm. in 2018, but that was in Boston. Okay. So I moved to Atlanta very shortly after, mm-hmm. um, and then I started working for this label mm-hmm. called UCMG, and mm-hmm. I'm I'm signed to them as a songwriter. Oh, so wow. that is why I have to go back. Uh huh. Yeah. Which artist do you think you want to write a song for so badly? I've already written for a couple mm-hmm. of your faves. Mm-hmm. Can you spill the tea or not? Um, I can tell you behind the scenes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> But they're they're a dope label. They're like they're doing like really dope stuff. They won their first Grammy last year for nice. Cardi B's album, mm-hmm. so that was cool. They are cool, yeah. Okay, so that's amazing. Mm-hmm. How does one become a songwriter? For anybody that's listening, I have no idea. I feel like just one day it just came back. I hadn't written for like seven years mm-hmm. before I woke up, and then I ended up writing a full song, and I was like, okay, let me just keep trying this but I really didn't like write a lot of songs until I moved to Atlanta okay and I started working with them and then they started calling me to do sessions every week Mm -hmm. and I was like oh my god like I can actually do this like I come here every week and I leave with material every single time Mm -hmm. so yeah then I was like oh I guess this was always there yeah Yeah. the one thing you're manifesting oh I actually (coughs) manifest every day Mm-hmm. On behalf of me and myself, mm-hmm. I mean, me and myself, dead. <laughs> me and my friends and um, just people. I manifest success, um, prosperity, happiness, love for everybody, um, peace. You One. know what? I really want to be on a mm. three. Oh, really? Like just drawn on a three? Yeah. It will. I feel like I'll have made it here. You know. Yeah. If I see myself on a bus. And I didn't like ask for that to happen. So is that yes, billboards definitely, mm-hmm. um, like billboard charts, mm-hmm. yes, and billboards <laughs> as well. <laughs> I like that. Um, Grammys, why not?